Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post, and you join me here once again in Transport Fever 2. Not quite sure why it paused then, but it did. <laughs> anyway, yes, we're back on the island hub, and we're following a citizen of our city, and presumably you've come from Rangpur because you're going to work in Baghdad. I just happened to notice that along one of our fabulous new highways that we've built in various corners of the map. However, after I finished the last uh, episode and played around a bit and added, this is a new section I added off camera. Oh look, signs! I put signs on some of the roads as well. We'll go through some of the mods here that I've been using. Not quite sure why he stopped there, but there you are. Yeah, what I discovered was kind of this. It doesn't show it very well here, though you do actually see some more of those lovely signs. I love that. I'm not a great detailer, as you may know, if you've watched others in this video series, um, but sometimes you think, no, actually, that sign makes sense. We could do with a proper sign there, or any other attribute on... Anyway, I'm getting off topic. We're here for a very particular reason. I created this... Uh, Set of roads here. Don't want to zoom out on you. Yamamoto, Hannah, going to work in Baghdad, is because when I laid this section down, I created sort of a, a whole set of highways from, in fact, all the way from Fukushima. Different colour one here, but there you go. <laughs> to Baghdad, and then from Baghdad all the way out here to the MBN Fu. But rather than just being a simple intercity carriageway, it actually allows you to go round Dien Bien Phu and across onto Rang Pua. But what I noticed, which is the whole point of that little opening sequence, is to do with... Uh, it'll show here, I think, won't it? Yeah. That. That would be quite dangerous on a real road. And it's all because these is not... This is not... These are not, whatever the appropriate tense is. <laughs> it's... These are not actual motorways or highways, they are dual carriageways. So it's a single bit of road which goes in both directions. And when you connect other roads to them, they attempt to add in these extra junctions. Even worse, they actually put traffic lights on them. I've got rid of the traffic lights since then. So what I want to do really is make these proper highways, proper motorways, so we don't get, so we can avoid this intrusion, this incursion of barriers across the highway. Yeah, not good, is it? And I've managed to find a couple of rather good mods which allow us to create fairly significant lengths of highway, motorway, freeway, whatever you want to call it. Autobahn even. Autostrada? Is that the Italian, I think? Or whatever. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm not going to go through the whole gamut of languages. No. <laughs> not because, largely because I don't know that many. Uh, yes, so what we're going to do that, we're going to do that. That's going to be one of the key points of today's episode. But before we get into that, I want to give another shout out to someone who commented on a previous video, already mentioned them, by the name of Martin. They commented a couple of videos ago uh, about my oil route from here, the DMBN Fu oil well, into the oil processing plant here at Rangpur in my desperate attempt to feed refined oil still not very successful, into the chemical plant here to create plastics for our goods factory over there on the island. Yeah, they, they suggested, Martin suggested, that I put in a single route, because I used to have the oil sort of dropped here and then transferred up, which kind of made sense because it utilised some routes I already had, but it was illogical. What I failed to mention, having corrected that route, was a invitation from Martin to rename this route and I've done that now it's now it's St Martin's oil bulk route so thank you so much Martin for your suggestion for both the, the correct routing of that service and also for the name for that route uh, Martin also did suggest and it does make quite a bit of sense is perhaps we could add another oil well into the map to feed yet more oil into the oil refinery here it's getting a fair amount but as we can see here, uh, it's getting it from other sources like Baghdad here. Uh, where is Baghdad? The Baghdad oil well, where's that? Oh, that is that one there, yes. So it's getting it from there, as well as DMBN Fu. But this one, this Baghdad oil well here, is also feeding 
other oil refineries out here. So it might be a nice idea to add extra oil into this uh, into this equation. I'm not quite sure yet where I'm going to put it. But we'll come to that at some point later. There's a couple of other things I've got in mind for today's episode. But the first off, I want to check out these highways and try and do them properly this time. But before we get into that, because I'm going to have to knock them down to relay these highways, is these signs. Aren't they rather good? Yeah, so it's a big sign. Uh, again, they are UK focused, to be honest. So they're perhaps not in keeping entirely with... Uh, with the uh, concept of this particular Island Hub tropical series, uh, but they work and I, I, I can understand them. And again, I'm not terribly accurate in terms of placing them as they would be on a real road. But you've got signs there for highways. Uh, it's another one here. Oh yeah, incoming traffic. And there's some over here. Uh, where was it? There was come, well, some coming off the motorway, wasn't there? That was it, here. Yeah. These uh, reduce speed now. You're about to run into a roundabout, and of course the sign for the roundabout, where you want to go, the town centre, off to the station, or you want to rejoin the motorway, and there's all sorts of other signs we can put up as well here. And they've come from a couple of mods. They are all in my collection on Steam, for which I have put a link into the description below. But what I'll try and remember to do when I edit this video is annotate it so I give you a direct link to or a name of the mod I'm using so it's slightly easier to find them because my collection is getting a little bit larger now so we have these so there's trucks not signs this one here so you've got road signs in blue and green and various picture ones all those you see for hospitals railway stations motorway upcoming uh, we've got these here Signs for the motorway, yeah, which is those we just seen. Also the various masts, so we could have them across the carriageways or simple poles. Yeah, or just uh, like that. Really rather nice. Uh, there was, well, I think there were some others as well I put in here. Uh, note your temporary road signs. Yeah, I, I, I'm getting so many now I'm getting lost. But what I've also done... Since then, so let's uh, come out of there, is added in some mods to do proper highways, proper two-lane motorways or highways or whatever. But I'm, we're going to do this section here. I'll do the rest of it, probably in speed builder off camera. We'll, we'll see how long this all takes and how difficult I find it. So we're going to have to scrap this whole section here, I think. Now, I don't have any routes along these roads, so it's just AI traffic that we're going to upset. Yeah, sorry. And I'll delete these signs because they will get in the way of my new roads. Go away. That's it. Uh, any more signs? Yeah, we had you there. You were sing. Oh, you were a sign on a pole. That's good. Uh, another sign there. What were you saying? Oh, you're another joining traffic sign there. That's lovely. Do I want dual motorway coming up here to Rangpur? Interesting question. It's a bit tight there, isn't it? The answer is yes, chaps. Yes, it is. It's a bit tight. As I could. The thing is, I'm going to have to remember the direction of travel of these lanes because they're different to what I'm used to on the UK roads. I know. Weird. Uh, we could have you going off that way and you can come in from there. That could work. It could work. And I took all that time to get that bridge right as well. Shame, shame. Okay, we'll uh, take you away. We'll take that, that bend off. Is that Yamamoto? Possibly is. Now getting hopelessly lost on his way to Baghdad. Right, let's have a look at these mods for creating highways. What I've had for quite a while I don't think I've ever actually used it as such, 
is in the streets or in the road construction menu. It's under street constructions. It's a mod called Parallelism. Again, I'll annotate the video here if I remember correctly during during editing uh, so you can find it slightly more easily. And this is it here. And it uh, allows you to put in a number of parallel roads and or tracks. So we could add roads and tracks there, you see. And let's make this segment a bit longer. 10 is rather short. 30, yeah, so you can see what's going on there. So you've got those there. That's all rather nice. Do we want a bridge or do we want it on ground level? Have it on ground level, I think, for here. Uh, the road to rail or road to road center distance. Uh, yeah, now I've not played with these a great deal, so my understanding of all the options of, of the mod is limited, to be honest with you. So I think I've played around with them a little bit, enough to actually do what I want to do for this episode. So what happens here? We don't need any uh, tracks here, do we? A number of tracks. Make that zero. Okay. They're both going in the same direction. I imagine that's a limitation of the Transport Fever 2 engine, but they can only work within the limitations of the game. Let's make that a little bit shorter. Now obviously here I can't create a whole highway motorway section. So what we're doing here really is creating... If I turn them around, because I feel like I want to go in that direction. Uh, we're creating markers, really, for where our highway will go. So put one there, and then perhaps one there. And then what you would do is use the ordinary highway street that you've got within the game. So this is a highway... Uh, I'd like to use my Chinese ones, actually. Oh, another little point. I think I mentioned... I annotated the video last time. When I was creating my dual carriageway, my intercity roads, uh, I said, well, why, why aren't these Chinese roads on the highway or country road options here? So I was using the all roads option here, and I'm to scroll all the way through to find them. Because I failed to notice we've got these blindingly obvious icons here where they're all separate seg segregated into their own separate uh, categories so these are the highways from that mod the this is the road i was using the dual carriageway system uh, or the sort of main town roads if you will yeah uh, so i was using the high the dual carriageway ones here but we want to use actually the highway ones We'll keep them dual carriageway, 75 miles an hour. Yeah, the slight issue I've got with this, I think it's, it's in the base game as well, is if it's only a single lane highway track, then it's limited to 37 miles an hour. There are plenty of road mods, so I dare say I could actually get a road mod which give me, gives me a higher speed for these single lane uh, highway tracks. But uh, yeah... I haven't got those in. I've got too many roads already, to be honest. Right, so what we're going to do, we're going to draw that in. Uh, construction not possible. Yes, it is. There you are. From. Why are you not possible? Oh, are you a three-lane? Did I, did I make that a three-lane one? Oh, you blithering idiot. Uh, number of lanes. Yeah, three. I am such a clap. Well, okay, well, I'm going to remove this anyway, so we'll use the three lane one then. Keep it in green. That's better. Yeah. So you draw that in there. No, no, no. To there. Accept that. And draw that. From there to there. That's it. And then what you do is you can simply upgrade the segments of the road. That's better. Uh, to the actual road style you want to use. So that's going there. And there. That's it. And that one there. Good. So that's all done. That's done, done and dusted. That's all looking very nice. So you just put markers down where you want your highway to sort of go along the route. And then draw the roads in naturally. Now the other mod, which I've only just recently discovered, we'll get rid of this, uses a somewhat different mechanism. It's a little bit more complex, but gives you possibly a little more flexibility. We'll see. So what we need to do first, though, for this one, 
is to draw one of our lanes. So we're doing two lanes of motorway. I'm not quite... What is the term? Two stretches? Yeah, two carriageways. Yeah, two carriageways of two lanes each. I think I've got the terms right there, haven't I? Yes. So in this one, we're going to draw one of those lanes first. And then we'll duplicate it. We'll draw a another road alongside it, parallel to it. Right, so we're going to draw this, say, from here. Actually, let's draw... Yeah, we're going to draw you from... There. We'll just put a short section in. Yeah, keep keep min minimum tunnel depth. Depth, no. We need to be at least six for that. Good. We'll draw you in there. And then I can use the curvy bit to curve. That's it. Curve round here. And if I want to join on with that... Oh, it does do that okay. That's all right. No. The thing is, I've got an underground bit of road there. That looks all right, though, doesn't it? But if we take you to there... All right, I think we can do that. Let's have you going... Something like that. So that's one of our carriageways. Now, to get our second carriageway along here to, to complete our motorway, we need to come not into another option here, it's not tools or constructions, it's actually under the assets mode, or assets option, or landscaping as the game calls it. And that is, yes, here, in the point to track street. So, <laughs> there are two mods here you need. There is the parallel tool, which is the one where it's actually going to create the parallel length of road. But to use this, you also need the marker mod. There are two separate mods. Um, they're in the collection, so you can look them up in, in on Steam in my collection there. And I'll try and remember when I edit this video to identify them more clearly by annotation. So what we need to do here is mark the stretch of road that we want to duplicate, which is what we're doing here. Now, I'm not going to put in an auto end marker. Well, if I put in the auto end marker here, so you look at the settings here, we're going forwards. We're going to start here. Uh, it says start by left clicking and ending right click. So we put that in there and put in an automatic end marker. So that it will just do sort of work on that segment of the road. This marker mode, mod, this marker mod rather, is used by numerous other mods. To do different things. I've left clicked, haven't I, you great plonker? Right, let's uh, clear that out. There, it's back again. Uh, yeah, but numerous other mods as well, so it's one of those sort of common API type things. If we go to the end of our road here and right click there, that's it. If I come off the mod. So we've got a start and, and an end. Okay, so once we've got the marked sec section of road done, we come into the parallel tool. And there's lots of options here, and I don't understand half of them, to be honest. But I'll try and give you an a in, intro to it, an insight into some of the things it can do. So the horizontal alignment here, it's got lovely great tips, tool tips on the options here, which is very, very helpful. So horizontal spacing, left and right, refer to the marking direction. So this is this one here is centre distance right. Now we are going to draw, I think... Yeah, on the right hand side of this road here so this is the the distance here so that's five meters which i think is a bit close to be honest for this or we could use this option uh, use this option here which is clearance right so that's i think is between the center of the track or center of the lanes and the clearance between the lanes you can even make it as precise as centimeters Yikes. <laughs> Do you really want to be that accurate? I imagine in some cases you will be. It also allows you to create a vertical alignment. Like in those, I, primarily, I, we don't have them in the UK as far as I'm aware, but certainly I've seen them in American movies, where you have rail running above the road directly. You can do that here, so you can actually have, you can actually draw using this parallel tool, train track running above the road, it's sort of exactly along the length of it. We're not going to do that here, but that that's lovely to be able to do that. Uh, follow the profile, parallel shift, uh, as equal to possible to the original, to the surface of the original. 
uh, causes an exact vertical so it's, I'm, I'm not going to read all that yeah but again it's the choice of options you've got here so what we're going to do here parallel type what we're going to be drawing we're going to be copying we're copying what we've got here or we could be adding track yeah or we could be adding street to it and we can even choose the street type which actually understands all the mods I've got installed, which is very good of it. If I choose copy here, I don't think I need to do this. We'll see that in a second when I try this out. So this is actually going to be the highway, which was two lane green, isn't it? I think I've chosen yet. So two lane green. So I could choose that one. Yeah. That does look a bit like it, so that's fine. Catenary, no. Bus lanes, bridges invisible. We're not going to do that. And check collision info, auto delete markers. So once this job is done, it removes those markers because they just in, because they, you don't want them on on the screen there, do you? As part of your map. So that's handy. I'm going to use copy here and see if this works. And it's going to be no tracks. What if I change that to medium street? What will it do? Is it going to copy that? Collision. And I think that is because my horizontal distance, my spacing is too close. So that is the center distance. What if I make it clearance? Five meters still and copy. There you go. And as you saw, that yellow marker very quickly disappeared. And that's the job done in one relatively easy and option full selection. Isn't that neat? OK, right. That's that done. I'll probably do the rest of this in speed build because it will take me quite some time to go through this and talk uh, talk through it as well. But one thing I want to do here, um, having kind of tested this out um, yesterday uh, before doing this recording, I realized getting on and off ramps from these 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 carriageways to the roundabout here it's going to be a little bit awkward because oh, we need to change the direction of these roads actually don't i make sure they're going in different directions that'd be clever wouldn't it uh, because this one yeah this one needs to go around in the other direction and that's done it yeah i think i've got yes because in the uk we drive on the left and turn right yeah, that's that's correct. I think there. Right. What I discovered was trying to draw uh, the off ramp from here to that roundabout either meant trying to build a very steep bridge or try and go underground and get back up again. And then I remembered I don't need to do that because I could move this roundabout and put it over the motorway because I have installed another funky mod which is the better roundabout mod. Oh yes. And what this allows me to do, if I click that, uh, we'll make it, make it as big as that one actually. So it's two lanes and the radius is not quite 25, 20? Yeah, about that. If I put this here, I can raise or lower this motorway. So this, oh, I'm on the, that's the trouble, it always remembers what you've last clicked on there. Uh, so some of these keys like up and down affect that selection. If I click there, we should be all right. So if I go page up, it does that, which is nice, which is okay. But what it also does is gives you bridge options. Yes. So I can now stick this roundabout over the motorway. I can even hide the pillars, but that looks a little bit supernatural to me. So we're not going to do that. No, we're not going to hide the pillars. We could use iron. Ooh, oh, no, that's the that's the, oh, that's the bridge type or oh, cement. Actually, we're going to replace the road anyway. Now, that looks a bit old fashioned. It needs to be cement, I think, really. We don't want big iron boundaries on there either. Right, so we're going to stick this in here. I think that should work, but it doesn't need to be quite so tall. So can I take you down? Ooh, and it cost me a lot less, right? How low, how low can we go? Uh, okay, that's looking okay. Ooh, how? how oh, that's too. No, don't, don't attempt to join the road. Uh, 
can I get a, a slightly better view? That looks okay. See, terrain's going up there, isn't it? We're not going to have really high-sided vehicles on here, but I think I want it a little bit higher than that. That looks okay. Yep. Yeah. So where are we going to drop our roundabout? We're going to drop our roundabout in there. Okay, good. And can I replace that with this two-lane highway? Yep. Yeah. But it hasn't actually replaced the bridge barrier particularly. No, oh, that's okay. We'll we'll leave it like that. That's fine. So let's get our on and off ramps done here. We want to get you out. So we have got this little country road there. That no, we'll take that off. Well, let's get rid of this. I'm sorry, matey, you're going to have to go all the way into... DMBN Foo to get out of there. So we're coming into the town and we're going to... Let's do the off-ramps and on-ramps first, I think. So this is going to be single lane, highway. And you are going to go on to this... Here. Like... Oh, that looks a bit... no. You don't normally have an on-ramp at 90 degrees, do you, to the road? You want it to be slightly more gentle. That looks okay. There's a little bit of incursion of the barrier there. Can I improve that at all? No, it looks like the game is going to insist on having some sort of overlap there. Yeah, unless I do it at 90 degrees, which not is not going to work for me. So we'll have you like that. That's better. So no barrier incursion, which is awesome. Can I get you coming off to the roundabout there too? That looks a little bit steep, perhaps. So we will bring you out here. Okay, that's... Bridge pillar collision. Okay, that's, we'll do that there then. We're going to need our town road to connect to this, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. So, which town road have I got? It's probably that one. Is it, it is that one. Okay. So, if I connect you, not like that, but like that. There you go. That looks all right, doesn't it? So you're not happy with that on on ramp there? No, I'm definitely not happy with that. So let's draw that one again. Uh, high, uh, Chinese highway from there. We'll draw it from the road and the motorway, which means it's going in the wrong direction. But can't that can't be helped? I don't really like that exit from there. So we're going to have to do it like this, I think. Unless, what if I... Ooh, actually... That works. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, we'll accept that. But then we'll have to right-click it to get it to go in the correct direction. Yep, everything's going in the right direction. That is lovely. Okay, right. I'm going to finish this all off uh, in a little bit of speedy build stuff. Uh, at least this section, so it all connects back up. Uh, I'll probably need to complete it off camera, and then we'll do a little bit of other tinkering with the with my routes and the map uh, to, to wrap up this episode. So uh, let's... First thing I want to do is smooth this out. Uh, so terrain tools, smoothing, fairly big wand. Uh, we'll give it lots of lots of power. There we go. Let's smooth that out. Let's smooth that. That is good. I think. Yeah, that looks. Well, I'll probably need to finish that off a bit more. Okay, but before I leave this section, 
I just want to introduce you to those signage mods. So what did we have here? We had, so we've got an exit here, haven't we? So that exit is going to take them to DMBN Foo. So we want some motor, UK road signs for motorways. That's fine. We could do that, an exit. But I think that just says, oh, no, 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 I know what that means. Yes, so that exit gives us a number, I believe. And the one and the two are text, are customizable text areas. So I can type in there where it's going. Uh, so we could use you perhaps. Uh, where are you? Let's come down here. So if I put you, that looks, oh, it's snapping. R ran the wrong way though. Okay, will you not turn around for me? No, you won't turn around. So I need to have you like, Durr. So we could use one of those. But what I'm more tempted to do is this. So, yeah, this looks better, doesn't it? Oh, it's interesting, it snaps. Oh, is it the... Do the Chinese drive on the UK side? Of the, do they drive on the left? Or is there signage in a different place? Oh, no, remember, these are UK signs, aren't they? So they're expecting to be on the left. Dor darn. Okay. And you're not going to turn, so I'm going to have to place you somewhere like that, aren't I? Okay, so if I do... Uh, okay, can, if I hold shift down, I can get you there. But you're not quite tall enough, I think. Can I make you taller? I can. Like so. Okay, so we've got that. And we've got... Uh, we're using this. We've got one, two, three, and four. So if we click here, go to name, uh, edit the name... So the first name is is the exit, which is going to DM BN Foo, and use the vertical bar for the next part of this. I, we can actually put four bits of text on this, separate each one with the vertical bar. If you don't want anything to be there, then just so put two vertical bars together like so. But it's slightly easier to see, easier to see there. So you've got nothing in that second position, but I do want something in the second position, which is Rangpur. And there they are. Unfortunately, Dien Fu is a little bit small there, isn't it? So I'm wondering if we edit that. And, whoops, nope, nope, scroll back. That's it. And take out the Fu bit there and stick it on the end. How will that look? wrong that's how that long <laughs> so, oh yes the, the actual yeah the uh, the mod icons did tell me it was the wrong way around okay so let's uh, cut that out of there type foo in instead and replace that with that that looks better doesn't it It'd be better if it was left aligned perhaps but there you are so that's that alternatively the other mod we've got here for signs is this one here, which has the mast for signs. Uh, you could also have all these light up signs. So like the warning signs above motorways. So we have these, uh, the masts here. We have these gantries, for example. Uh, okay, now this, now here you can set off the width and the positioning of it. Uh, so the y-axis, I think, makes that wider. Yeah, there you go. So I can make it wider if I needed to do that. So we can put that in like so. And the VMS signs here. And again, having selected uh, this orange sign, we need to offset it. Now Z, I think, is a vertical scale. Yeah, that moves it up. That's good. And the thing then is to align it as best you can if you're one of these people who like things to be look right. Uh, put that there. 
This is a little bit off, isn't it? So I think, is that the x-axis? So if I take that back a bit. Or, no, the other direction, is it? This, this, this is the thing, you could, you could spend hours doing this. Ah, that looks a, not quite as good. Not quite what I want. Three. Oh, maybe it's the y-axis. I need to play with. Maybe it is. Oh no, Y is definitely off left and right, isn't it? But that looks a little bit better, perhaps. It's actually attached to the gantry, which is fine. So we can remove that little one there. Oh, I should, she's not perfectly aligned in terms of... Yeah, it's a little bit at an angle, but there you go. Again, you can just go there and configure that text to say... something important, like exit, or roadworks, or warning, or whatever. And yeah, so those are really neat. And certainly some of these mods give you huge flexibility in positioning and alignment and so on. If you have the, the patience and the skill, both of which I sort of lack somewhat to get them right. So that's that job done. I think we'll actually get rid of that. I don't want that there particularly, I'm afraid. Get rid of that and the sign as well. There you go. Right, I will finish this off in a little bit of a speed buildy thing. At least get this connected back up to the main roads. And uh, I'll see you on the other side after this little bit of speed build and soundtracky stuff.
And that, I think, is the job done. We've got properly parallel motorways between Baghdad and Yen Bien Phu. And also, I was really happy that I could, I could do this <laughs> into Rangpur. Yes, by using this parallelism tool, or sorry, not the parallelism mod, the parallel tool, tool uh, I could actually copy that train track and put a highway, a freeway, uh, someone using it already, a motorway carriageway directly alongside it, which is a real pain to do. I really, I, I couldn't quite manage it doing it freehand, but using that copy tool is wonderful. I'm not quite sure why. You may have noticed at the beginning of that, it actually had one section of the road going in one direction and the end section going in in the reverse direction. Possibly because when I was marking the start and end of the train track, I actually click to end it on the on a different track on the other tracks so we've obviously got two tracks there for both directions so perhaps that was the reason why the copy did what it did but that works really well and we've now got proper on and off ramps around dmbn Fu, and i managed to get that roundabout into baghdad as well using a, a simple dual carriageway to come in and i will add some more signage to this because the signage as you saw it takes a little while for me to get the correct alignment and scale of uh, all the signs there that we've got. So I'll add some more to that to add some extra detail to this. But that looks rather nice, I think. And one final little thing to wrap this video up. I think uh, one little thing I know. Oh, we're in 1964. We've got oh, a new aeroplane. Small vehicle. And we've got uh, some more wagon going very fast. Oh, some new trucks going reasonably fast okay uh, all different all semi trailers locked oh yeah so these are the Japanese variants guard coach going reasonably fast oh my goodness the Shinkansen oh oh my goodness I'm gonna have to take a little while after I finish this recording to have a look at my map and see if we've got any good properly long train routes where we could make use of the Shinkansen. In the meantime though one final little thing as I said uh, we've got a couple of freight routes coming out of the Ajaxima Epic MMX freight hub which are uh, going to uh, where are they down here somewhere we've got so many Turpan tools bulk is it yes it's that one there i put you over there for a moment and the Yerevan delivery as well going there both relatively small towns getting a modest amount of cargo coming in the passenger line between Yerevan Turpan and Ajaxima is a single line so it stops at all the stations the freight one doesn't at the moment but I think to be honest it would make sense because neither of these trains is making money a little bit too small and slow so I think let's replace them with a single freight delivery doing both those towns along the way you're the newest train 25 okay so what actually are you you are a Tem 2 it's going to need to be naffy trucks isn't it really uh, because we've got a right mix of uh, cargo types going out here to to Turpan and to Yerevan so if we manage this vehicle what have we got and what's your maximum speed 62 okay let's uh, let's just edit you so what diesel locomotives have we got are you are you're our latest and greatest aren't you you're not very powerful though which is probably why you're such a small train got the Indian one Goes 81, a lot more powerful, but do we need 81? Probably not. Actually, this T3 is older. Yeah, by a few years. But is that much more powerful? I th Yeah, let's replace you with... Uh, oh, I'm double-heading this one anyway. The Tem. Okay. Well, let's replace you with one of those. Okay. And we'll put some more naffy wagons on here. 
the, the Nafi does go at considerably faster. The Nafi does go at 75. Mm. 126 capacity. We'll try that. What if we? What's the Turpan one doing? You've got a capacity of 48. Yeah, that that sh that should be more than enough. But if we get a good fast train going in, could I double head this one? I wonder. Is there a reversed version of this? Oh, there's you. Oh, you're built in. Right. Yeah, we're going to take you. It's going to ha add hugely to the costs. No, not. There, I want you at the front. Thank you. That doesn't no, that doesn't have a variant. No, they are just a double head. Okay, we'll leave it like that. That's got good performance. We'll see if that makes money. If not, then I may have to reduce it to one single locomotive. We will see. Okay, and you are actually it will modify you. Gosh, nearly over seven million. So we will take you and this route. We'll go from, and let's get rid of the white colour, make it slightly easier to see what the heck is going on. So you're going from there, yeah, and you're going, no, after Ajaxima, you're going to go to Upper Turpan, and you're stopping on, on Platform 2, which is good, and then going ahead to Yerevan, and then back through the middle of the station that's okay and coming back here that's all good so we will accept that change uh, the turpan train though we can get rid of yeah we'll we'll sell that one so we've, we've lost those tools but what the heck okay so where is this train now no not the route the train you fool oh you're pulling into Yerevan okay oh will you you won't fit that's a slightly annoying isn't it <laughs> what I could okay let's let's take one of those Naffy wagons off uh, for, the, for the time being. There you go. You're still a bit long for that platform, so we may need to extend you. Possibly. We'll look at that. But there we are. We will leave that, I think, for the moment. We'll watch you head up. Well, actually, you know what we'll do? We started with a car driving, didn't we? So we will finish with a car driving. Which one shall we pick? Have we got a citizen travelling? Okay, come on. Oh, there, there's someone. Liu Yi will follow you. And I will say thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Transport Fever 2. If you've enjoyed this, it'll be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Just click on the old thumbsy uppy button. Even better, if you've got anything to, to say about what I'm doing with the game or the game itself, if you've got any suggestions for improving this road layout, or if you feel like having a route, a train, or even, I don't know, a station named for something that uh, would amuse you, then please do just let me know by dropping a note into the comments box below. That would be awesome. Other than that, of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play series. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2, until the next time, bye-bye for now.